Alright YouTube, what is going on? It is Bigfoot here today bringing you episode number 3 of my Airline Tycoon Deluxe series with Phoenix Travel. So as we can see, overall statistics we're doing good. We are at least double the passenger numbers than any other airline. The image is at 4% and the personnel and planes are doing very good as well. Let's skip that because it's the same old, same old. So let's go ahead and have a look and see how we're doing here. Profit wise, you're still not making a profit. Your your, your numbers are down. We've just about had full planes before. Oh, it's one of these days. Of course. Thank God today is sorted and resolved because it's one of these days. So we're going to speed this game up because for the next... Oh, I can't even speed it up. Are you being serious? Please don't. Yeah, so I can get it onto time three. Basically, it's just going to go in and out. This is a diarrhea morning. This is literally, the game's got this thing. I don't know why, but it's literally got this thing where he's going to go in and out the bathroom. Basically, all the way till about 12 a.m. So back into the bathroom there, and again there, and again there, and again there. Is that you about done? No, you're still sort of just continuously going. The problem is, if you, for example, go up to your office, then he'll run straight back down. So I can't really get away from here right now. You're still going in there, and again. Are we done? Do I have to spend the whole day doing this? I don't actually mind, because, I mean, I'm a few days in advance, so it's not the end of the world. Are we done? I think we could be okay now. I'm hope No. Aha. Uh -huh. No. Why don't you just go home? If I can actually get upstairs, you know what? I would just end today. Because, yeah, he's back in again. Let's see if we can make a run upstairs to the office. I don't know. He'll just turn around randomly at some point. It's honestly just not worth it. It's, it's something this game has, actually, which is quite cool, to be honest. It's sort of just simulating real-life stuff. What we'll do is we'll roll over into tomorrow. Yeah, we... Oh, no. We have a sabotage incident, so let's listen in. Good morning. I'm afraid I have bad news. There's been a sabotage incident at Phoenix Travel. It was a malicious attack with biological weapons. I can't tolerate things like that in my air... Right, so it was with a biological weapons, which I can probably guess. Sunshine... Is it Sunshine who's like the big, big one on... Uh, going ahead and causing problems with sabotage. No, We had... To, yesterday was toilet day. What do I need to do? There's, there's a pill in this game you can take. There's lots of little easter eggs in this game which I really don't know a lot about to be fair. But I can't have two toilet days in a row. I need to continue to run the business. Where is the pill? There's something you can take. I'm in the toilet again right now. I can't move so that means I'm in the toilet. Is it in duty free or is it found in the warehouse or it's somewhere? I just don't know where it is though. That's the problem. And it's annoying me because I know it is something. We're going to try continue today. No. I'm just actually going to go at times 30 speed again. I just need this to be over with. Obviously going home wasn't the solution. Because it's still, it's never happened to me two days in a row, the toilet issue. It's just annoying. I mean, it's not exactly like I can go to a doctor or anything. If we go to the cafe, maybe? Let's see what Rick's got to say. No, nah, right, that's not a solution anyway. Rick's not actually that helpful, to be honest. Basically, a lot of these things in game are just for just general chat. There's not actually a lot of business stuff, to be honest. Like, I'll go into Duty Free once or twice in this whole game. The bank. Can I actually go ahead and check out the bank, see what's going on with the stocks? So, Sunshine Airways is obviously not doing very good. They've dropped quite drastically. So is Falcon Lines, so have we actually, so is everyone to be honest. I've not actually been able to do a good day's business in a few days, mind you. How much would it be to actually buy the rest of my stocks out? Because if they're lower, then that's not a bad thing. I'd like to buy some stocks, and I'd like to buy them in uh, Phoenix Travel. Now, to buy 10%, it would cost 84000 is that right? Yes, and then I would like to buy the remaining 1,000. That cost me... 
47. Is that right? Yes, we have 95% now, so can we get the last 500s? Or no, it's only letting you buy 2%. I want to take the 5%, but that's going to cost... Yeah, 49,000. So I should own my whole airline now, which I do. And now back to the toilet. So you got some content there. It's not too bad. But we do own our whole airline now, so that's good. And I probably will have to sell shares at a later stage, as it is anyway. But it's not a bad thing in terms of actually having to worry about other airlines coming and stamping on your feet at the early stage because at the early stage we can definitely take a airline out this game by today is day 10 so I was totally wrong on my guess of what day it was I was thinking it's maybe day 12 but honestly we can have an airline out the game by about day 30 month one and it, logically it probably is going to be honey just based on their performance so far unless they're planning something really special like buying new planes and going for a charter route which is going to be extremely profitable, I think they'll honestly struggle. In terms of the other airline, it's difficult to say because they've got a lot of money, but they also are not using their planes, so it's it's very hit and miss, it's, it's really difficult to read to be honest, but look at this one here, still all got two planes, that's fine, route wise, uh, I'm still the only one that's got it. And then flights, the flight numbers are going up, but maybe by only like one a day, and I don't even know if they're using this airport. So that's always something interesting to take into account anyway. Are we done? Can we just please be done with the toilet? Because I am... I just don't want to be in the toilet the whole day. It's not fun. I want to play the game. That's all I want to do. Right, so that is... Us back in here, let's stay in here maybe. Right, what is this? Uh, for technical reasons, we had to cancel today's scheduled flight for Falcon Airlines. So that means they got sabotaged, <laughs> it sounds like anyway. How are we doing on the profit? You're in the profit, hallelujah. And I didn't even make any changes. So that was maybe the advertising actually. Or the plane upgrade, that would make sense. I could snap my, I could actually pick up my keyboard and just smash it off the desk. You know, one of the first YouTube videos I ever watched was German Kid Raging. I don't know what game it was, it was a shooter game. But it was him just basically smashing up his keyboard. And I just always, like, when I have a rage moment, I always and look at my keyboard, I always think of that video. I've not seen it in years, but it, it is quite funny. It's very relevant at this stage. Okay. I mean, I, I want to do lots of stuff, but I know I can't really do lots of stuff. I want someone to buy a plane. Right, this is really annoying now, actually. There's got to be a way. There's really got to be a way. No, I'm not going to the ladies. I'll get slapped. Oh, I got perfume, though. See, that's an item. But who did I give that to? I think I give it that to the person in the cargo area, then you give me something. But I can't remember off the top of my head. Or if I go into the sabotage bit. I could look up all these easter eggs online, but it's fun to find them out yourself. Nah, straight back to the toilet. Right, this is just the top quality episode this is, eh? Right, you know what, we're just going to run today out, so we're going to go ahead and jump on at times 3 speed. You're obviously not getting over it today, that's the bottom line, so let's just go ahead and speed the game up. We've not got long to go anyway. And that's another thing I need to inquire about, is extending the airport, because if we're going to... I mean, we don't need it for a third plane, but right now I think it's only a million dollars at this early stage, so it's definitely something to consider. It really is. But then, I really don't know what the next part of the game is, so let's talk about what we've done so far. I've got an established route, and that's about to go extremely profitable. I'm going to continue to upgrade that plane and start to get f some first class on it. And then after that, what we'll do is we'll start to look at other airlines. That's honestly what the plan is. So, continue on myself, and then just see where we go from there. And that'll probably take me about five more days, I really reckon, to go ahead and get that done. So we need to get security evidently, because that's two in a day. Falcon Lines, we sort of knew that was coming based on the message. So it's maybe time to get security. But security just honestly costs so much money. It's it and it's so difficult to predict where the flaw's gonna be as well. So 
Anyway, we're starting to see very good passenger numbers. So what we do is we're going to hike the ticket prices by just $20, not, not anything drastic anyway. Like so, 20 there and then 20. You're already 20 up actually. So I mean, it's going to make minor differences, but we might want to reintroduce first class soon. And that's something which is very tempting, but we'll go ahead and we'll just inquire about stuff later on. In terms of Saturday onwards, we're in Stockholm, so let's maybe try and get a flight back from Europe on Saturday and or fill out the rest of the schedule. So Saturday EU, that's the big thing which we need to sort of deal with. So Seoul is the wrong side of the world, Singapore's the wrong side of the world, uh, Peking is it's not bad but i mean it's not really saturday is it until sunday and friday there's nothing really i mean we'll take that because that's a guaranteed forty-three thousand dollar profit so we'll definitely take that one there's nothing really unfortunately there what i am thinking though is going into cargo because cargo i mean that's all over the place it's not really regionalized whereas last minute and air travel do tend to be regionalized which is good that is, I mean, there's not nothing jumping out at me, let's put it that way. There's also no special contracts either. Osaka to Seoul, I mean, that is such a short distance. And it's not a bad pay. That would cost, what, five planes worth. But honestly, that would be done in a day. But then again, we're not in the right part of the world. I think we're just going to have to pay the lot of money to get back, back basically to the right part of the world, unfortunately. So we need to fill out the schedule from Saturday onwards basically. Saturday onwards. So you're Friday, Friday until Monday. Are you worth it? Yeah, I would say you're worth it. So we'll go ahead and take you. Sunday, are you worth it? Peking, Singapore? Yeah, I would probably say you are worth it. So let's take you. You are not worth it. And you are... Mm, no, I don't think I fit you in, to be honest. Let's go ahead and just basically fill out the schedule and then see where we're at with our Bangkok flights because hopefully we should start to see that again increasing. And I, I just want to make more money with it. That's the bottom line. So you're 7,000, 4,000. Good morning, at least, anyway. Let's go ahead and stick these flights in here. So this is until Sunday. We can put that in the other plane, though. This will be Peking, so... That's not that actually a bad, it's only going to lose us 64,000 and that makes 178, so that's not too bad. Then we're going to go from Singapore to Manila straight away, which is in the Philippines, which might be closer to Bangkok actually, but we'll make a nice bit of money there as well. And that pretty much leaves us open from Monday or even Sunday evening actually. So as long as it's Sunday evening from Singapore or the surrounding area like Manila, a short flight away, then we can do something there. Let's go ahead and stick you in here. So Bangkok, Singapore, uh, we'll take this one out here. And then we'll stick you in there like so. And that resolves that issue there, which is great. So there we have it, which is nice to see. Again, I don't know why the Monday ones are later. We're going to remove you guys forwards. Tomorrow, unfortunately, there's not any movement, or really much movement anyway, with Singapore, Bangkok, but that's okay. It's Hong Kong day tomorrow, which is fair enough. Right, let me go ahead and have a think. Uh, let's go to the advertisers, or we'll go way outside the advertisers, and while we do that, let's just look at the flight board and see really how things are doing. Again, it's just us in action. I don't know if I've triggered a glitch or whatnot, it's just weird, you know what I mean? Very, very strange. Anyway, let's speed things up right now. And wait till 12 o'clock, because that's what I need to do. So there we go, that will be 12 o'clock as of now. Go, 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 go! Don't think anyone is really using... I've not seen anyone go into the advertising agency yet, other than myself, so... How's my overall airline image? So, it's at, what, 5.9%, which is nice to see. I'm not really that bothered about it right now, I'm just more bothered about my route to be honest. So you're at 81% in terms of capacity use, the image is at 39%, so that is very, very good. So let's carry that up to about 50% with that new advertising campaign. What we need to do now honestly is just, I think, go for the next few days to be honest and just see how things go because there's not really too much else on the horizon. 
tomorrow. I mean, we're busy till Sunday, so we might as well just get things going back in the air. You're back into the loss with that price change, which is not good at all. And it annoys me again because I thought I was there and now I'm not there. So what we're going to do is skip forward a day. We came out losing money, which is not good. So, uh, uh, I mean, there you go. Um, we will be making a lot of money overnight tonight. So I'm actually going to skip Friday. And we dropped our down a ridiculous amount of money there, but we made it all back. I don't know why we lost like a million dollars. We literally went down to zero. Which is very strange. Very strange. Why was that? I don't know. Anyway, we have some more Bangkok flights in action though, which is good. So 121 and we had 168. So you are full, which is good. Though I mean 10,000, it's not actually the biggest amount, but we're going to start to reintroduce first class onto this now. So... Second class is doing very well. It should be full most of the time anyway, based on the advertise. And then we'll just see from there. I need to fill I need to do a lot today though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reintroduce some first class. So we go this way on this plane and we go plus, like so, and that means we've got some more first class seats on the plane now. So I believe the plane is at, uh, it's only got eight, but I mean, we can hopefully get those eight seats filled. They'll have to wait for tomorrow to see the results on that. I need to fill up the schedule for the bigger plane from Sunday onwards. So if we're Sunday at Singapore, then that would be great. Singapore surrounding area, Manila, Hong Kong, Bangkok, then that would be absolutely splendid. So we're starting off by looking for Sunday. So Singapore to Seoul, Yes, I can do and we'll take. That's a lot of money and that is very good. So that's Sunday done. So we're now looking at Monday. So Manila, Singapore, we can do that one. Uh, but I would rather do that one. So we'll take that. Then on Tuesday, that would be a good return flight. It's a no penalty anyway, so we're going to take it. Singapore, Seoul. Yep, we'll take that one too. And then this flight, Singapore, Sydney. Uh, Friday, yeah, we'll take it, why not? Let's go ahead and do that one as well. So let's jump back into the office and let's go ahead and put these in the scheduler and then we'll just go from there, really. I don't think that we are going to see too much in terms of action this weekend on the Bangkok route. I don't think, I think we'll have to wait till sort of weekdays to see if there's going to be much of a difference. We need to make sure we don't have a gate clash here, though, so that will work like that. Then, oh, that's annoying. Um, let me think about this. So you're going from Singapore to Seoul. Then you need to go in on that day, don't you? So have we got a flight maybe going from Osaka, which is quite a short flight away, but you're on, what, the wrong day? Yeah, you are. Now, see, that is annoying. I don't want my plane to be on the ground all day, though. You know what I mean? So we're gonna have to do it that way around, I think, unless something we can get sold to sold to Singapore. Nah, well we could do that actually, yeah. So that works, but uh, no, it doesn't. What is going on here? I need to work things out here. So we're in Seoul. That's fine. So where are you? You're at Osaka. Yeah. So, but that's in the wrong date, right? This isn't gonna work out the way I wanted it to. So it's just going to have to be a little bit more spread out, unfortunately. Then Singapore to Sydney on the Wednesday, which is fine. So, I mean, all in all, yeah, we still do make a profit. There's just, I've not been able to cut out the loss of like 50,000 there or reduce it anyway. But I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's not like an end of the world loss by any means. And the profits are all in all relatively good, like especially on the Osaka flight. I mean, that's a very, very healthy profit indeed. And that takes me up to Wednesday afternoon now, which is good. So we can definitely go ahead and skip forward a few days if we want to, that is. In terms of looking at this year, you are 10,000, though obviously we're still in second class. As I said, we'll need to wait until tomorrow. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the cargo hall and just see if there's anything really going. Then I think we'll... Saturdays and Sundays at the airports are never good in terms of stuff being open, so we can't really do too much exploration or much like that. Can I? 
Perfume, do you really want to discard this? No, I want to give it to you. Right, okay, so you're not the one. I want that glue, though. There's something I can take from here. But I can't remember what it is. Is it the flammable box? Nah, it can't be. Or right, there's something I give to you. I'm not really at all sure. Anyway, so we're looking for, what, Wednesday onwards. So that's interesting. Osaka back to Singapore. 30 tons, though. It's a bit out there. I think everything's a bit out there, unfortunately, in here. So not really worth it at all right now. Okay, so I'm just going to skip forward a few days again because there's honestly really not too much going on. I think we will uh, just have a look at the flight boards and we're still the only airline really in action. I just get the feeling if we look at the flight numbers and let's see, I mean, yeah, they have only gone up very marginal amounts and if they are flying at this airport, it might be really early morning or they might not be using this airport at all. So it's very strange what they're up to. I'm very, very surprised at that anyway. Let's get forward to tomorrow and see what's happening. So coming into today, again, our passenger numbers are through the roof. The airline's image is at 7% and there's nothing new, which is fine by me. I'm interested in this. So that's 9,000 and we got two first class passengers. That's something to note. We got two first class passengers. And then we don't know about the return leg. So we made, what, 9,000. So again, we're making profit. And I'm again tempted to actually put more flights in during the day. Because we can. That's the bottom line. We can. If I was to do an extra Bangkok to Singapore per day, then if we move everything back. Uh, now, see, this is where we start to have gate clashes. And that is an issue that I can't really get around until we get another gate. So... Oh, that is annoying. That is very annoying, actually. And it costs, what, a million to get a new gate? So it's really, really not worth it right now at all. I just need money. That's the bottom line. So we are actually are just going to automatically roll into tomorrow. We made a good bit of money overnight. It's probably, what, about 500,000 or so, which is much, much better. And I like that. So I still need Wednesday onwards, and that's today's job. In terms of this, 10,000 again. So that's a hundred. Oh. I'm not having this. What is it? What actually is the issue? I really do not understand this. I, I know I need to do something, but what is it? You know what? I'm going to look these strikes up because it is annoying. Okay. So after doing a bit of reading, basically I'm getting sabotaged on the, on the sly. I'm getting bacteria. I put my coffee. And that is leading to me going to the toilet a lot. So we're going to make our first... Of course, there's a security blackout. Great. I need cameras. I need CCTV in my office to basically prevent this from happening. So that is what I need to get, but I can't get that. It looks like today is going to be another toilet day. The good thing is, again, we're actually okay in the schedule until Wednesday afternoon. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed things up and hopefully just get today over with. I don't know when security's reopened again, because that is just so annoying. Because of a blackout, the security office is currently closed. So a lot of sabotage going on right now. That is just the bottom line. But while that happens, I want to check the stocks. Because... Can I just don't go to the toilet for like 10 seconds, please? Come on, dude. Just don't. You know, just... Alright, okay. You're good now. Right, so, yeah, stock ra Stock rates are intra- Stock rates are- Are you really? As soon as I open it, you go into the toilet. Stock rate- I'm not- I'm honestly not. It's just like, literally, stock rates and then pause. Stock rates and then pause. We're definitely getting security in this place. That's the first thing we're doing tomorrow morning. I'm just gonna have to skip today, to be honest. That's the bottom line. At least if you'd stop going to the toilet every one second, so I could actually do some- Recording that would be great, but it doesn't look like it. See, you're fine now. Or you're not fine now. Uh, you know what? We're we're just about there. So 1,700. It's still not a large amount of cash to do stuff with, though. That's the real issue. So I really need to start to, I guess, just start to build up money, because the next things I want to buy are more improvements to the airplane and stuff like that. So I just need more money for that. 
Now we're up to 2 million, which is great, but overnight I don't know if I'll make any more money or not, so... Now we lost a tiny bit. Again, I'm being sabotaged, but that's in my tea. We know about that. Let's go straight out the office. Let's go straight into security. Like, run. Run. Because we need this for our health. Security. Uh, I want security. And I want it in my office, please. And then you can monitor the... Yeah, so monitor the staff office as well. So that is good now. So that means now that I shouldn't have that problem anyway going forward. So we can get back to business now, long last, which is good. So that is at 10,000 and yeah, it's, it's, it seems a bit stuck at 10,000, which is frustrating to say the least. And let's go ahead and fill up the Friday because we, I think we need to. So what we're going to do is Friday, we're just going to randomly have er extremely early morning flights. We're just going to go for a full day of flying because why not? And then that'll actually carry over into Saturday as well. However, what I'm thinking of doing is just removing you and removing you. So that just has a if Friday's a full day, that's the bottom line. It's just something a little bit different. Well, Sunday's actually quite a quiet day. So we'll move you to there like that. And that there we go. So that looks a little bit better. So I believe it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are all the same. Then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. They just look a little bit different and a little bit more unique. But again, I'll have to move that around because we've only got one gate based on this from what we get from Wednesday afternoon. So we start off Wednesday afternoon in Sydney, which we need to try and see what we can do on that front. First of all, we have another Singapore to Sydney, which isn't bad, and I'm going to take it. But is there anything that can get me back? So yes, there is this one. So I'll take that. I'll take you until Sunday. Uh, I don't really want to take that one, to be honest. Uh, that's not a lot of money either. Friday, that's not a lot of money for the distance, so I'm not liking that. And then that one is not really that amazing either. So I'm going to ignore that too, and I'm just going to go ahead and pencil these in at the office. So let's have a look in the schedule and see what we've got. So that's what I want there. So that's only a 26,000 loss for a 67,000 profit. And then you're going to return, again, a gate clash. Not the worst thing in the world, though. And there we go. So 310,000. And that means from Thursday onwards, we are free from Sydney. So we need to fill this up. And this is just a little bit frustrating now. So what we're going to do is we're going to run along and we're going to see what's going on in the cargo terminal. Because I'm willing to tell you, I've got a pretty much a free schedule from Thursday onwards. So we can do multiple flights for certain cargo so i mean we can do that one on wednesday i can't do it on wednesday though i wish but i can't tokyo to singapore on the wednesday i mean i can very much do that as well but i can't so i or i want to do it sorry manila to hong kong on the monday that is actually not worth it at all aranka to athens nope manila to singapore now no i just can't I can do that one actually, but that's just not worth it. Premium's not there at all, so we'll leave it for the time being. Let's look in the museum. Uh, interesting. That's not too bad actually. I'll give you that. That one's not too bad. Good range, good amount of passengers, but I'm just not digging it to be honest. I'm really not. And you are too much. 22,000 and you're 55 million. So we'll leave that there totally, I think. So with that said, Thursday's not going to have any last minute, so Thursday we're in Sydney, so we need to solve this issue, and I really need to get the Bangkok route just more profitable, that's my biggest issue here, so Thursday, Singapore to Bangkok, I will take that, that's going to require the bigger plane though, so maybe it won't, until Sunday, Osaka, 180 people, I mean, not really, uh, Singapore to Melbourne, I'd love to take that, I don't know if I can take that though, that's the only issue, I want no, you're just not worth it. I need more bigger money ones. That's the problem. Can we fit anything on the Wednesday? I don't think I can though. That's the problem. I've now committed. I mean, I'm totally free after Thursday, but it's just no, 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 no. Yeah, we're not. That's the bottom line. We're just not. So that's very frustrating indeed. What we're going to do, I think, is we're just going to skip forward into tomorrow and see 
how we're really doing because I don't think there is going to be much change over the next few days. We did gain quite a bit of money actually and our image is up to 9% which is good. Really going to turn my attention back to this flight here though so I mean we are making it looks like 10,000 per trip, second class is always full and then first class always has two people. I want to make that higher though, I want to get more first class people on so we need to improve the plane and we also need to basically improve the route image which I can only do so much of at a time to be fair. What we're going to do is we're going to jump down to the bank though, maybe buy some more shares or start to buy some shares of other airlines because I'm very much intrigued. Honey Airlines has 11 million in their account right now which is a lot of money and yet you're just not really doing anything with it so we might as well if we can, if the shares are low we might as well try and get a big chunk of this airline. I don't think, I mean the shares aren't bad, we are at 100, or sorry, Falcon is at 158, we're at 118, Sunshine is at only a whoppingly low 54, and Honey is at, wowee, I mean Honey, oh okay, Honey's at 113, so, I reckon the Sunshine, they're awful, I'd like to buy some stocks please. Oh, Falcon Lines must have issued stocks. Let me have a look. Give me one second here. Stocks. Yeah, they did, but I mean, they bought a lot of them up. But that's interesting. The other airlines still haven't moved at all, though. So, what airline do we really want to go for? Do you want to maybe go for Sunshine or Honey? So, we're going to commit to take one of them over long term. Have you bought Falcon have bought a new plane and so have Honey actually, so that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for Honey, because Honey I think is the better one to go for and it's probably going to be quite similarly financially. I know the stock prices say differently right now, but the amount of money that Honey Airlines has got in its bank account and it's got three planes, I'd be buying nothing really if I get Sunshine Airlines, if you understand what I'm saying. So let's go for Honey Airlines. Now... How much would 20% be? That's it. I mean, that's it. I uh, might as well go for that because that's only very little money. So your share price is going to rock up, but we've now got 20% of that airline. And if it's that cheap as well, we might as well go for Sunshine too. I mean, yeah, yours is only going to cost 100000 so we honestly might as well. So, I mean, your share price is also going to increase. I should ours a little bit too, but... We've now got our foot in the door. I'm not going to go for yours. I mean, even though I could get a larger percentage of your airline with Falcon, it's not really worth it right now. So we really just need to make sure that we're checking that pretty much every two days right now and see really what we can do. Okay, so let's return back up to the office and see what we need today. Uh, I'm interested in this. So that's 9,000 again. Still no change in the first class, which is annoying. But we jump out of here. So Thursday onwards, tomorrow afternoon onwards, we're in Sydney. I just hope there's different flights and air travel now because I just don't seem to be getting the luck at all. And it's annoying. So Singapore to Sydney on Thursday, I mean, we can do that one again. No problem. Or we should be able to do it, no problem. Actually, I don't know if we can return in time. That's the problem. So maybe not. Thursday, 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 Saturday to Singapore. That's not a lot of money. Thursday as well, and then until Monday. It's awful. It's absolutely awful. I don't want to take any of those whatsoever. Let's go to last minute and see. So we're in Sydney tomorrow afternoon. So Singapore to Sydney today. Oh my word, that is so juicy. But no, we can't do it, unfortunately. Uh, anything for tomorrow in that part of the world? Sydney, Singapore today. Holy shit, that's 2 million, dude. That's mental. What about this year? No, nope, that's not good enough, and that's not good enough either. Why are we getting no luck whatsoever? I think we're just going to have to wing it into tomorrow and get a last minute thing. I honestly think that's what we're going to have to do. Before I do any of that, though, let's check the flight board, and then let's do some advertising, and then let's have a look at tomorrow. Because I'm very much now intrigued. So let's go ahead and jump forward like 10 minutes. There we go. So we can go into the advertising agency. Let's slow things down and let's check. 
first of all, let's check uh, the roots, the individual roots. Can we do this properly, please? This route here, so you're at 60% image. So capacity use is at 22% of first class, 97 second class. So we could easily get another plane on here, but there's honestly not much point. What I need to do is start to raise prices now, really quite a bit on second class, and then maybe lower them on first class. I just need to, I mean, we're not that far out of first class, to be honest. The image is at 60%, so you know what, I'm going to leave it right now, but I'm just going to improve my general airlines image at 250,000, so I think that's a worthy investment. What we will do is we'll jump back into here and hopefully that will maybe pull in one or two more first class with improving my overall airline image. I want to go ahead and look at this, and I want to increase this by another $20. So each way that's going to be. So that's going to make, I mean, you're already, oh, you two must be in sync actually. So that's fair enough. So there we go. So that basically, I mean, I set a first class ticket, sorry. It's only a third or a fourth cheaper to upgrades from second class to first class. So that's interesting. Or like a second class, I mean, there's two brackets. I don't really know what they are, but. That's interesting to say the least. So that might yield some more profits or it might yield some losses. But the only way we'll find out is by jumping forward. So we made a little bit of money overnight, which is good to see. And the airline image is at 10%, which is a very hot number. Where are we at though in terms of overall profits? So you're at 3,000 and you're at 9,000. So we're down actually on first class and on second class, which is not good at all. So that's really not worked out in my favor whatsoever. I'm really tempted to drop the route to be, I don't know, why are you not filling up? It's just annoying, I think I need to continue to upgrade the plane, that is for sure, but then do I really want to continue to upgrade this plane or do I want to start to upgrade the other plane and sell this plane? Because this plane must be worth a lot more now. That's really the bottom, uh, I always say that, the bottom line, but it is, that's the thing. I mean, that's going to cost 2 million for the next upgrade and 1.2 million there. Then we're not even at the third tier upgrades. That's going to cost a lot. Whereas I've not even started on this plane, even on the inside. So if you understand what I'm saying, it's a bit hit and miss. Anyway, we do need to do one thing before we wrap up this episode and that's get something from Sydney tonight and we need tomorrow. We basically need to fill up the schedule. So let's go ahead and run down to the last minute. Hope there's like a $2 million contract, because that would be great. Even from Sydney, uh, something from Sydney would be great as well. So let's just wait on Honey Airlines. And there we go, thank you. Right, okay, so, today, I am in, so, okay, uh, that would be good flying back because I'm in Australia tonight. So uh, for example, I don't think I can make it all the way to Tokyo, but I could do the Perth Singapore So we'll do that one. Then I'm looking for tomorrow So as of tomorrow we can do anything because we're back in Singapore. So from Friday Singapore we can do anything Hopefully there'll be lots of new flights Tokyo Singapore. We can take that and we will probably Singapore Peking and we could do those uh, simultaneously actually so we fly from Singapore to Peking and back to Tokyo. So that's that day sorted. Then we're looking at Saturday now. Sunday, Singapore, Bangkok. Yeah, might as well. There's no penalty there. So let's go ahead and put all that into the system. And interesting, I don't know if you've seen there, but Sunshine Airways came out of Sabotage and then Falcon went into Sabotage. So very interesting indeed. Anyway, tonight we are 26,000 loss, but then we make 373,000 profits. Singapore to Peking will be tomorrow, as will the Tokyo return, which is good, and we have no gate clashes, so 77,000 for that. A loss of 16, then 425,000, which is great, and then you're actually going to go on this smaller plane. You're going to go in for that flight there, I think, which works out nicely, and that's a very, very good profit indeed. I'm starting to think this maybe isn't the best idea, and it would maybe be a good idea to sell this plane from Sunday, which maybe isn't a bad idea. If we go to the museum and see, I just need a longer range plane, I think. Actually, tell you what, let's go ahead and go to the bank first, because I just want to see if there's anything 
changed on the share front. And if there is, then we need to go ahead and take appropriate action, basically. So if we can go in, please. Thank you. Right, you've not issued any more, you've not issued any more, nor have you, nor have I. So no connective action there. What time does the museum open? It's open now, which is good. So let's go ahead and see. Of course, Falcon just goes in there as I say that. Which is a bit annoying, but hopefully you won't take too long. Which you haven't, that's good. Right, okay, so too much. Way too much. That's mental. Absolutely, I go some speed to be honest, but... Yeah, wowee. Well, right, how are we looking here? So, um, I mean, that's not bad. It's got 300 passengers, which is good. The range is very good, too. However... What year? It's not bad. It's really not bad. I mean, it's 1995, so it's going to need some repairing costs. Would you like to buy a used plane? Wait, what did you say there? Yes, of course. I have three. No, I know. I want to sell a plane. I would like to sell an airplane. I thought it was he was asking what to buy one. So that's worth 3.4 million. So, I mean, that's actually worth the sell because we could get that other plane straight away. And I think that's what we'll do probably in the next set. I need to wait till Sunday. And I think I'm actually going to get rid of that route as well. The route's just too short to be that profitable. We need something like maybe. It's just something better. If we go ahead and look at the route boards, then I'm not really at all sure what we can do at this stage, so that is the problem. We can always take a route which doesn't go via this airport. I mean, that's not a problem for me at all. We do have one or two extra routes now. But uh, this is annoying. It's just where Singapore is, you know what I mean? Because the, it's difficult. Capacity use is only 23%. So there's definitely room for improvement there. It's just we're not getting the numbers, are we? And there's nothing long range from this airport at all except Sydney. But are the numbers much better than Bangkok? I mean, no, they're not. But at the same time, it's a longer distance. So it would mean more money. So it might be better switching to that. If I'm totally honest. Again, I'm going to wait till at least Sunday, probably, I think. Uh, I mean, we can almost move it. We can move that flight. In the next episode, we'll decide what's happening. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this episode. Please leave a like, rate, and subscribe if you are new around here. Go into the description, check out my Twitter and Patreon. All support is very much welcomed. And that's all for this video. So thanks very much for watching. My name is Bigfoot, and I'm out.